There are many ways of playing Magic the Gathering, and Modern is one of the most popular formats to do so. It's a 60 card, one versus one format where you can play any card since 2003. That's a lot of powerful cards. We've had our subscribers vote for one deck to champion every year of Modern's history. And then we had a team of competitive Magic players to play all of the decks through four rounds of Swiss. And we finally have it. We have a top eight of what could easily be the most powerful decks in one of Magic the Gathering's most powerful formats. And we'll bring you each of the single elimination rounds and after seven videos, we will be able to crown one deck the best modern deck ever. Andrea, I have to avenge the Titans. Yeah, you have more Titans now. Depends on your definition of Titan. Let's roll to go see who was first. Let's do it. Seven, and I do six. Oh. All right, best of luck. You as well. Okay, now you'll get to see what this deck does. Because normally, you get to abuse Amulet of Vigor with bounce lands that tap for two and stuff like that. Sometimes you get to play Tron lands which tap for three, but we're playing Cloud Post today. And Cloud Post lands tap for X, where X is the amount of locusts you have in play. Now there's a lot of locust lands. We're playing 12 in this deck, which is the name of the deck. We're playing Cloud Post, which taps for X equal to the amount of locusts. We're playing Glimmer Post, which gains you X life equal to the amount of locusts. We're playing Vesufa, which enters the battlefield as any land, so usually it enters as either a Cloud Post or a Glimmer Post. This hand has two Amulets of Vigor. So if I play a Cloud Post, and then another Cloud Post, and then another Cloud Post, the Cloud Post entering will add nine mana. Andrea? How does it look? Great. I'll keep it. Me too. Pretty excited to play this deck because I actually never got to play this deck in Modern. Uh, when Oko was around, I was very focused on Arena and the MPL and I just never got the chance. But today, it's my chance to play all these banned cards. We have Oko, Mox Opal, Mikos and Lattis, Mystic Sanctuary, you name it, I have it. Let's go. This is gonna feel like last game that you and I played. I'm gonna play Forest and an Amulet of Vigor. Okay. Was Force of Negation in your deck yet? Yes, right? Was it? Maybe, yeah. yeah I think Modern was. Horizons 1 was, it was out, yes. It was, it was, it was, it was. That's true. All right, I'll go to 19. A snow-covered island. And then I'll follow up with a card that he's currently banned. It's called Arkham's Astrolabe. And then I have no follow-ups. Okay, well that deck doesn't always do the turn one Emery. Start, this deck could be so broken, but right now I don't do much. I'm gonna play another amulet and then I'll play a tapped cloud post. It will untap. It will untap. And I'll pass a turn. <laughs> There's no mana burn. <laughs> All right, let's go. I have another Arkham's Astrolabe here. Okay, so wow. A card. And then I have a Mox Opal. For context, for those who have not played this card, uh, these don't just cycle. You can fix your mana instantly with these because you tap a land with them. You two, can. and a man of any color. Indeed. The so Mox Opal, and I'll play an Emery. Ooh, there she comes. Lurker of the Locks. Okay, here's a Mishra's Bubble. And an Oko Thief of Crown. Oh Crown. no! I haven't seen this guy in a while in Constructed. Well, you just threw him in your graveyard. Yeah, I'm not gonna see it again. And land go. Draw. I'm breaking on mana generation here. This deck needs to build up an explosive amount of mana to then play threats, but all I'm drawing is the threats and I have an awkward mana base where I can't really play many a turn. And then I'm gonna take a turn off. All right, pass, I go? No. Okay. Uh, this deck, I promise you, does such broken things. We'll debate next turn whether I do broken things. For now, I'll play a Cloud Post tap. Okay, okay. It's gonna untap, I'm yes. gonna tap for two. It's gonna untap, I'm gonna tap for two. Mm. And I'm gonna pass the turn. One damage. Yes, 18. And um, I'll go grab a breeding pool. Okay, I can also do some broken things now. Oh, Let's show see. me. Let's see how far I can go here. I want to start with uh, an Urza, Lord High Artificer. Yes. I go grab a construct token. It's pretty huge right now. I then need to do something more. So I have counter spells in my deck. You have Metallic Rebuke, right? Yeah, I'm gonna start by flashing back the Mishra's Bubble. Okay. And then I use it to uh, see my top of the deck. All right. Okay. I think I just have to pass the turn. Okay. Draw, draw, draw. 
of an awkward mana here because I have this one Vesufa and I only get to play it once as a copy of one land. So I have a pick between an Ulamog or a Primeval Titan. And I think in this case, we're sniffing a counter spell out of Andrea's hand. So I think I'm going to risk it the highest upside. If I play an Ulamog, I, I leave myself out of extra green mana. I do destroy a permanent on this side of the board, but he gets to counter it. If I play a Primeval Titan and he doesn't counter it, I have mana for days. I'm fine. If he does, I still have double green, which means I have a lot more open draws. I can draw another Titan. I can draw a Scape Ship. There's a lot of more things I can do. Well, hopefully, Pray that he doesn't have a counter spell for it though. This is modern. I haven't done anything until turn four. I played two artifacts, they did not much. This deck must be terrible. How did it even get here? <laughs> I will play a Vesuva. Okay. It will come in as a forest. As a forest? As a forest, tap. It can be a snow color forest if you want. No, <laughs> I'm not doing none of your shenanigans. <laughs> it's gonna untap. Yes. There's another trigger with yes. amulet on the stack, so I will tap it for green and it untaps. So you have one green floating. He played a land, remember that. I will use it. Six, Six. mana. And a primeval time. All right, I will uh, pay three for blue and I'll play the metallic. Felt like you had that, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay, next turn. I will pass the turn. <laughs> On top and draw. Woo, woo. Okay, right, let's begin with this free Arkham's Astrolabe, as free as it gets. It's a tap for blue, yeah. Draw. Don't do that, please. That's a good one. Oh no. Tapping four, I'll play a Carnegie Creator. Ooh, that is a good one. Let's see what I have in the sideboard. Oh! I got you, Carl. What are you getting? Minus two. I got Dumping Sphere. Oh no! First, let's flashback a Mishra's Bubble. Yes. Let's look at your top card. It would be good in normal circumstances, but I think this this dumping sphere Ouch. is going to stop a lot of what you're doing there. Then I attack you, seven damage. 13. And uh, you can go. All the work I did for my lands. Normally I think I should just concede here, but let's have you show how you win. Yeah. I'll play a tap cloud post. It's gonna tap. I'm gonna tap for one. It's gonna tap. I'm gonna <laughs> tap for one. I'll pass the turn. Untap, draw, minus two. I get the lattice. And for those of you who don't know, this is a, a lock, basically. What happens is that all the permanents are artifact because of the lattice, mm -hmm. and the card says that they cannot be tapped for anything. Yeah, you can't activate So you don't have mana. Of artifact. So I'm attacking you for, I believe this you're is nine. Even getting, you're choosing the one damage I, over the card draw. It's, it's a lock. I don't need I'm to do four. anything. You can go. I will draw. <laughs> I will play this artifact. I will pass the turn! On top, I attack again. Actually, I'll activate the Lattice. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> this is 2011. The modern landscape was completely different than the way it was now, and it was very different than what it was when Andrea's deck existed. So I don't have anything in my sideboard for it. I have some cards against Affinity, which Andrea plays a lot of artifacts, but in this case it just doesn't do enough. I think in this case we're just keeping the deck as is. Sideboard time, let's bring in some our Assassin's Trophy, which are important to blow up Cloud Post as well as uh, Titans and such. And then Thoughtsies, of course, I'm playing as a combo. I'm gonna remove my own combo. I think it's not great. Uh, and then a couple of Cryptic Command on the draw. All right, Andrea, Let's need redemption. Go. I believe in this deck. I just idolize this deck as one of the best ever. Well, it is in the tournament, in the so, top eight of a tournament called the best deck ever. I'll bring it to the, to the win. I'm gonna keep. Me too. Look at this hand, I can play a turn one Oko. It's crazy. But I think that in this matchup, I'd rather go turn one Thoughtsies and then I'll turn two Oko. I can attack immediately with an explosive uh, that's an elk. I think it's better overall. So, you know, let's let's do that. I'm gonna start this off with a banned card. I Forest. play some, I promise. Forest? Well, Forest is not banned. I'm gonna play a green stuff set. Oh, wow. Which in this case, oh, I do it for zero. That's crazy. I wonder, do I have any creatures that cost zero yeah, in my deck? Game. It is gonna get me nice. this creature. Yeah, that is also cool. a land. And I'll pass the turn to you. Draw. Okay, I'll pay one mana. I'll play in Engineered Explosives. Okay. For your Amulet of Vigors. And then I'll play a Mishra's Bubble. Ooh. A Mox Opal. Ooh. And a Thoughtseize. Very good. So I'll go to 18. And we'll show you my hand. I'll take your through the breach, yep. even though you can probably arc cast whatever you draw. And pass to you. 
I'm gonna play a Cloud Puff tapped. I don't, if I had an amulet, who knows, maybe I do. I can't play it because you'll blow it up. Well, not this turn. I'm gonna tap two. All about ramping here. I'll play that Sakura Tribe Builder you know about. Yep. And then I'll pass. I'll tap and draw, I can't crack this bubble. I'll float green. Oh. I'll play a new Mox Opal, and I'll play an Opal Thief of Brown. Would you like to read that one to the audience who may not have lived for two months when it was legal? Plus two, you make a food token. I actually got uh, fourth in a, a Arena Pro Tour thanks to Opal Thief of Brown, but in standard, uh, not in modern. I never actually got to play modern. It's also banned in Pioneer. During its time. It's also banned in Legacy. <laughs> Name a format, it's probably banned in it. Plus two, you make a, a food token. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna all about plus one turning artifact into elks. And despite I could start attacking you, I think first I'm gonna pick up your mana. So I'm going to make your Dryad Arbor. I don't know if you have a, an elk token. I do not. It's you a three, do not. Three. So you have a three three Dryad Arbor. Okay. Because I need to, you know, take away of that scape shift. Your go. End of turn. I'm gonna yes. sacrifice the Sakura Tribe Elder. It's no good here and get a forest with it. I will untap, I draw for turn. I'll start off by attacking your Oko. Predictable. Calling my plays predictable, Andrea. Then I will play a Vazufa, entering tapped as a Cloud Post. Right. I'm gonna tap this Cloud Post for two. And green, green. I'm gonna escape shift. Right. I'm gonna sacrifice these two lands. Yep. I wish I could sacrifice this, but now it's an elk. Yep, you cannot. What you get? A Cloud Post. And a Vesufa. Pretending it's a cloud post. Okay. Okay, so you have a uh, 16 mana right there. It's all tapped. My attempt to kill your... Uh, my, to reduce my to mana? Reduce your mana was not successful. I will pass to you. Yeah, maybe I didn't make the best play, but... I'll uh, you sure is bubble your top of the deck. Okay. Is it good? No. Look at me in the eyes. Tell me it's bad. It's bad. Oh, oh no, that means it's bad. I'll play a Engineered Explosives again. Okay. And then I'll make a food. I will pass and draw a card in your upkeep. This is the ultimate test of your honesty, Andrea. It's okay. Come, don't, don't insult this card, it's pretty good. What, you, did, you needed it? No, Okay. but I mean, it's, it's an okay magic card. Play a Cloud Post Pact. Okay, so you have... Uh, Two mystery cards. Oh no, you, you know about mana. the stomping ground. Yes, I currently have 20 mana that I can tap for. I only need 15. No way. Easy, easy. I'm gonna play an uncounterable spell. I'm like, oh, your spells are no good here. Emrakul the Eon's... No, no, so no good here. <laughs> I'm gonna play an Emrakul the Eon's Torn. It can be countered, of course, we know that. Uh, when I cast a spell, I take an extra turn up to this one. Uh, it's got flying, protection from colored spells, Annihilator 6, and if that were anymore, if it goes into my graveyard, I shuffle it into my library. I can continue. I'll attack you! <laughs> yeah, go to 15. Go. I'll untap, because I get an extra turn. I'm going to declare attacks. I'm going to attack you with this. You sacrifice six permanents. Good game. For game three, I'm bringing back the cryptic command because I think I'll be able to hold them up more reliably. Third game, I'm on the play. Yes, you are. And you'll need it because this decides who goes to the semis and who has to send back their deck to Karma Pro. My hand looks fine. I don't have my accelerate, no Gilded Goose, nor Mox Opal, but I think I have enough Dirtling, Mishra's Bubble myself, Arkham's Astrolabe and such, and I also have a Sunset's Trophy to blow up a land. I think it's a keep. All right, I'm keeping. I think this hand is good enough. It's really hard. I'd argue I could mulligan, but unlike the Titan deck, this deck can't mulligan quite so well. It does rely on card quantity, a little bit over card quality. I need a lot of lands in play to pull something like a Scape Shift. Uh, which I can get with this hand. So we'll play it and we'll really hope those explorers give me something, maybe like a primeval type. I think I can keep this on the draw. You get an island. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was fast. I'll start with Astrolabe and draw a card. Maybe there is one on top. There isn't. Yeah, I think I must cycle this bubble. Oh, that means it's good. Pretty good. Go. I'll draw. I don't know if I want to do this now, but I feel like I have to ramp. I'm going to get a Dryad Arbor and shuffle this back into my library. And I'll pass the turn. Let's go. Show me. What's the best deck of all time? I'm too slow. Land go. You're too slow. Too slow this game. I'm going to tap tap. I'm not going to attack you. 
I'm gonna explore. I'll uh, have a respond to that. I'll go to uh, 16. Are you gonna rebuke this? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like I wanna slow you down. Okay, I'll, I'll consider this successfully slowed. And then I'll play a tap stopping runs and pass. Okay, me. that's good. Draw, top lane go. Ooh, are you gonna try to counter another one of my spells? Maybe. So first of all, it was, you countered it last time. So I'm gonna play an explore. All right, resolves. I'm gonna play forest. I'm gonna tap it to play a Sakura Tribe Alter. And then I'll just play a Glimmer Post, which will give me one life. Okay, you go 21. And I'll pass to you. I'm tapping draw. I have a bunch of options, and I think overall the best one is to just play Urz and pass. I can also Mystic Sanctuary back a Metallic Rebuke on top, and then draw it with Mishra's Bubble. Unfortunately, I can't play both Urza, suck the bubble, and steal the three artifacts. So. I just have to choose a path and I'm going to play Urza. 15. We're both playing decks with multiple banned cards that are considered some of the best decks of all time and we have done nothing for four turns in the deck. Yeah. The content. I, mean, I countered. Yes, so. you countered an explore. I'll play an Urza. Okay, now we're talking. I'll get a Construct into play. Yes. And then I'll play a Mishra's Bubble. Okay, now it's a 3-3. Three, three. All right, I'll just sacrifice this end of turn to get a Force into play. I'll untap. Yep, you have six mana. I do. Good enough for a primeval titan. I don't have one. No? I do have a seventh mana. Okay. I'll pay one life, go back down to 20. I asked my mom for a primeval titan, and she said you have primeval titan at home. So we don't need to get another primeval titan. What is it? It's seven mana primeval titan. Oh. It resolves. It I resolves. Don't okay. Don't have a metallic rebuke. Green sun zenith. So I'll search my library for a creature card. This time, not one that costs zero. This time, I'm getting a primeval titan. With my primeval titan, when it enters the battlefield, I'll go get two lands. I will get a cloud post mm -hmm. and a eye of ugin. Okay. <laughs> There's another deck in this tournament playing this. That deck got this banned. I play the land for the turn. I'll pass. I'm tapping your up. Oh no, you're doing counting with your hands. Do you have a Karn? I may or may not. Or in this case, may. Let's find out together. I'll tap four and I'll play a Carnivore Creator. Ooh. You've seen this play before already. I'll minus two and I go grab the uh, Dumping Sphere. I'll then play a land and tap two and I'll play a Dumping Sphere. Yes. And then I pass to you. I will untap. All my boring lands are tap for one. But, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can activate it. Eight, nine. If I draw an Ulamog. Oh, wow, that's true. It gets reduced anyway. Hmm. It's not an Ulamog. <laughs> Good. I'm going to decline attacks. All right, before that, I'll get blue mana, thanks to Urza. Yep. I'll filter it to black. Okay. And then green. And I'm playing a Census Trophy. No, Andrea! <laughs> Unfortunately. Actually. I might be out of bit. Oh, I'm not out of basics. Maybe this dumping sphere could have been something else. I had a difficult turn there. I have an easy turn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna play eight mana for Terastodon. Oh, wow. So you blow up. I'm gonna destroy this for sure. This for sure. Okay, so I'll get to two elephants. Three, yes. three. And that will be it. I will play a tap Vesuva. What do you copy? Are you again? No. Oh, okay. It'll be a cloud post, you silly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm past the turn. I'm tapping draw. Okay, so I have a bunch of lines here, but all of them lead me to just die to your eye boogie. I feel like I just need, get, need to get lucky. Top five, use Urza. So you have like, what, 47 cards left in your library? I'm not sure there's some other things. Oh, you, wanna, you don't even want to cut, you just flip? I trust you. Okay. The box open. Congratulations. I can probably spin again. Play a land, fetch, go to 14. If you get another Assassin's Trophy, you can get my Ayahuga. Yeah, that, that, that's the That's goal. what you're aiming for. Yeah. You shuffle and then it's your turn to spin it. Oh, bubble. Well, uh, I'll uh, bubble you and pass. Did you like the top card? No. Is that, is <laughs> I will show to you my great amount of patience, Andrea, and I'll just run out to <laughs> Sakura Trident Elders. <laughs> I attack you for nine. I'll chump block. With That's what I thought. All right, I got another turn. Draw. Ooh. 
Do I, why do you do that face every time? Assassin's Trophy or Eye of Ugin? I have responses. Yeah. I'm gonna search my deck for an Emrakul. Do you have a second Damping Sphere? The Eye of Ugin dies? I will search my deck for a basic, which I will fail to find. So you have one card in it, huh? How about a Thoughtseize then? Woo! Very funny. I shuffle my graveyard into my library. You're at 12. Okay, we're back in business here. I managed to draw, I don't know how, trophy into Thoughtseize. So, Pind Urza. Wanna flip? Oh, you may counter as well if there was one on the stack. <laughs> Attack for three. I'm at 20. I'll, I'll just go down to 17. All right. Your turn. On the tap. It's not an Ulamog. Actually, so I only play one Eye of Ugin in the deck. Yeah. No. But you no destroyed way. my Emrakul. No way. I'm going to have to get creative on the What did you draw? I'm going to escape shift. <laughs> All this effort to take one out of the four. I will sacrifice these two forests. I'll sacrifice another forest. Okay. I will get a Eye of Ugin. You knew about this one. I will get a Vesufa that will copy my Cloud Post. Okay. And another Cloud Post. Okay. I will uh, chum block the Terrastodon. You take three. I'm going draw. I'll play another <laughs> one. Did you have it in hand? Yeah. Okay. So your constructs are I'll make a five construct. Five. Are you going for the top of your library again? I'm dying. I don't even know what can I draw. Let's see what's in there. Do I get to flip it? Yeah. Are you excited? It might be an Ulamog. Oh, oh no. Right, I yeah, why it. not? So I have one, two, three. They don't do much. What would you get? What are you looking for? What are your dreams? I don't know. My dream. I mean, I, I, I honestly just had the unbelievable run of Assassin's Trophy into that, Thoughtseize. That was so good. Which I didn't even know I had an out, so. Just happy to be here. Attack you for three. This will be my last I'll, play of the I'll tournament. I'll go to 14. And pass. We'll make this fast. I will untap. I will draw. It's a Glimmer Post. I'll gain six. 20. I will float seven. Yes. Search with Eye of Ugin. I will get an Emrakul. It costs 13 because of the Eye of Ugin. Yeah. I will then float 18. I will play the Emrakul. I will get an extra turn, it doesn't matter, I, I'll attack. No blocks. Okay, I'll attack again. <laughs> Good games. Good game. I can't believe you didn't go for Ulamog and didn't get punished for it. Yeah, you, you were even telling me, I don't, I don't know if he'll make the final cut, but, and then I was like, oh, I, I don't think, I think you should have gone for an Ulamog there, it would have been so and much I, better. And then I just drew Thoughtseize to exactly punish you for not going for Ulamog, and then you drew Scape Shift. Uh, see? Normally, Scapeshift would wouldn't even have been good unless someone had shuffled my Eye of Ugin back that's into what, my that's library. That's what your cards do. You, you discard <laughs> Emrakul and you shuffle. No, but it was a good game. I really thought I was going to win that match. Yes. I really had high hopes for Urza. You thought you were going to the finals and, and beyond. Well, 12 so interestingly enough, 12 Post is the oldest deck in this tournament. Yeah. It made the top eight and now it's making the semi-finals. Really excited. It's okay, you'll still see more Andrea as you saw in the other quarterfinal. He didn't make the semis. You went off against a tough opponent. So we'll see you, Andrea, in the next video. Bye.